Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is me, Safiya Khan. You're watching Desi TV USA. Let's have a look at the English news. The US Congress approved the suspension of debt limits through bipartisan legislation to avoid historic defaults. The US Senate and House of Representatives backed President Joe Biden by removing the government's $31.4 trillion debt limit and approved borrowing more than that. In the Senate, 63 votes were in a favor and 36 were against. Earlier, the bill was passed by the House of Representatives on Wednesday, which was supported by 314 members and opposed by 117 members. President Joe Biden will sign this bill and it will become law. After the law is enacted, the current government will have a legal limit for further federal borrowing until January 1st. 2025, that is by that date, the U.S. government will be able to borrow more than the prescribed limit. The ruling Democrats and opposition Republicans agreed to pass the bill after months of opposition and criticism. Canadian social worker Jasmine Houghton has escaped a prison sentence despite being convicted of murdering a police officer. Jasmine, 34, was sentenced to £30,000 and 300 hours of community service. Jasmine Houghton was convicted in April of murdering a police officer. According to the court's decision, she has to pay £30,000 within a year. Otherwise, she can be sentenced to 12 months in jail and she has to issue a video message in which she will inform people about the harms of misuse of weapons in an intoxicated state. After the incident, the investigation found him guilty of culpable homicide known amounting to murder on which the court sentenced her to fine and community services instead of sentences her to jail, as well as issuing a video message about the harms of misuse of weapons in an inebriated state. The biggest operation planned for Hajj in Saudi Arabia has been started. More than 14,000 female and male workers will serve in four shifts during this year's Hajj. These workers will be monitored by the supervisory body. The public presidency has increased the number of vehicles to 9,000 vehicles. The carriage service has also been activated 24 hours a day. Up to 300,000 copies of the Holy Quran are likely to be provided in the Masjid of the Holy Shrine. Several workshops are also being organized in both the Masjid to teach and memorize the Holy Quran. In this season, 35,000 hours will be spent in the recitation and teaching of the Holy Quran. Human organs have been recovered from 45 bags from a ditch in Mexico City's Jalisco state. According to foreign media, human organs were recovered from 45 bags during the operation to find five men and two women who went missing on May 20th. According to reports, the organs found in the 120th feet deep ditch belong to both men and women. According to reports, officials say that all the missing people are under the age of 30 and all of them were reported missing on different days. But investigators have found that all of them worked in the same call center. According to foreign media, the call center is located in the same area from where human organs have been found in the bags. While forensic experts have not yet determined the number and identity of the victims. India's opposition leader Rahul Gandhi has attacked Prime Minister Narendra Modi over the nature of relations with China, saying that China is occupying our borders, while also criticizing Hindu nationalists over the country's religious discrimination. Speaking at the National Press Club during his visit to Washington, Indian opposition leader Rahul Gandhi said that the reality of the problem is that China is occupying our borders and it is an accepted fact. This is absolutely unacceptable. Prime Minister Narendra Modi seems to believe it. That's all for now. For more updates, keep watching DCTV USA.